I'm excited for this one. Hey. We got the intro song. Shout out to our boy QT Dub all the way from ATL. He was a huge fan of the show, so he just did the intro song for free. He's like, you just, I did this for you. Enjoy it. So I was like, all right, man, that's crazy. Hey, we're going to go far with this. Keep going. Yeah, that's how we go. Here we go. I'm about to do the drop. Boom. Guys, I just got out of my Lambo right now. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. We are live right now. It's April 8th. We have a packed show. We have an exciting show. We have a guest all the way from upstate New York in the building. Call your friends and family. Buckle up. Let's go. Turn up. It's lit. Woo! Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. Woo! I can't even stay in my chair this time again. We have an exciting show, packed show. It's April 8th. I'm your host, Ariel, for Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, Latino Heat, Rico Suave. I know you guys have been missing that. Yeah, shout out to all the millions and millions of listeners tuning in right now all around the world. This is big time right now. This is big time right now. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Here we go. Our guest, like I said, comes from New York. She is a spiritual mentor. She is a content creator. I bring you Flo, a.k.a. Florina. Woo! But I'm going to what up, Ariel. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Love and light to you all. Jeez, we are excited for this one. Tell us, tell us what city, how's New York? New York is good, man. It's, um, I, I, I moved from like the city area to sort of more of the mountain and the nature because I was, you know, I was, I was a wild party girl in the New York City area. So I had to tone it down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Switch it up real quick, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's the New York scene life. Okay, so shout out to New York. We have a packed show, like I said, guys. Before we get into our guest and what she does, you know what I have to do? I got to do the quick promo real quick, the quick promo, because that's what helps the podcast and helps the business. So here we go, guys. Thank you so much for pulling out your Androids and your iPhones for this one. Best way to support the podcast. People ask me, how can I support you or how can I support the podcast? The best way is by going to, oh, we do it live. The best way to do it is we go to arielent.com, arielent.com. There, you can book me for my music. There, you can book me for my photography. There, you can book me for my podcast. There, you can, once you, once you fall in love with me, you go to my shop, okay? And there, you buy the merch. People have been loving the merch, selling out left and right. You guys better tune in real quick. ArielENT.com. Thank you so much. Five-star review on Apple and Spotify, guys. Five-star review on Apple and Spotify. Truly means the world to me. Thank you so much. Another great way to support the show is by going to the incredible hot YouTube channel. We just gained... Three followers today on the subscriptions on the YouTube. We were at 327 today. We hit 330 today, guys. So thank you so much. People are grabbing the links and sharing it with their friends and family. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com is how you'll find me on the amazing YouTube channel. Okay. The donation links are down below. The donation links are down below. Thank you. Guys. Donate, donate. Boom, 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 boom. Means the world to me, guys. Means the world to me. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to do a quick shout out uh, to all the listeners and everybody tuning in right now. And just a quick shout out to, uh, you know, when I wake up, I just thank God for just waking me up and um, for, for my life, you know, and for my family and all the beautiful gifts in my life. So that's how we do it, guys. Let's bring in our guest today again. Let's bring her back in. So Flo, tell us who you are and where we can follow you. Boom. Okay, so um, do you want me to say a little bit about myself and let people know a little something? Yeah, let's go for it. Got right, so um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm known at first as a reality star and um, a little show called The Bad Girls Club. And uh, 
I broke records for the highest ratings on that. I was the first bad girl to come out as bisexual in the show. I was the first Albanian girl to have her own reality TV show in America. Um, I was the first uh, bad girl to get her spinoff. Um, and uh, from that, uh, my journey went to like doing some other reality shows, which also were connected to Bad Girls Club. And it was an ongoing thing for years, about eight to 10 years, I was doing TV and hostings and clubs and things like that. And um, from that, um, I what led me to doing what I'm doing today has to do a lot with that show. Actually, I feel I was meant to go on a show where I'm gonna gain a lot of people that watch me for that reason. Um, so that I can do the work that I do today, which is um, be, be who I truly am, which is a healer, a medium, a star seed, a light worker, a guide. I'm a mentor, an energy, an energy coach, a Reiki master. Um, I do music. I write. I'm writing a book. I'm, I write. I do freestyle music on YouTube, and I make meditation videos. I, um, you know, I do healing on people. I do like. Uh, retreats they're called angel squad retreats and what happens is i go with people and i book these um uh, locations and people come pay and they get like mediumship readings where i connect to their loved ones passed on loved ones i also connect to uh, um aliens star beings um our star ancestors which people call aliens i call my star family um and i channel energies of the light of the love and the light but i had to go through a lot of darkness in order to get to this point in my life. Like I had to face the darkness, literally had to go through hell, saw hell, saw demons, had a whole in encounter with them in, in a space. One time I literally went through, like I saw everything. They took me to this part of hell, that part of hell. They showed me all the things that I was doing that was sort of bringing darkness into the world with the fighting and the arguing because that's what bad girls club was about it was all about fighting and arguing which i you know no judgment i'm a judgment free zone type person but i had to go through all of that darkness and like kind of work in the entertainment industry which is a lot of darkness and i'm not saying everything's dark but a lot of it is very dark and so I had to experience that to go through my spiritual awakening, which then led me to my true purpose, my true calling, which I found today, which is be, being a, a master healer, a, a Chiron, the wounded healer, someone who's been wounded and turned herself into a healer. That's beautiful. I got that right here. You were in the T you're in reality shows. You were in the TV scene for about eight to 10 years. Shout out to the bad girls club. And as well, you were, um, Right now, you are doing energy coach. You are writing. You are into music. You're into you right now. You're doing an author right now. You're writing a book, and as well, you're into um, you're doing medium shifting, and as well, you want your goal is to be a master. Your purpose is a master healer. Right, exactly. Um, I and I am one. Um, honestly, uh, when people are sick around me, I put my hands over them, and a lot of times they'll just like throw up real quick and get better. It's, it's strange because I had to discover this on my own. I didn't believe none of this stuff either. When I saw people doing it, I'm like, this is bullshit. Can I curse? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. All right. All right. I was, this is bullshit. These people are liars. But then like I started doing it myself. And especially when I started doing mediumship, which is connecting to loved ones, people that died and your family members, they will come through to me. Right. And I will get names, dates, their hair color, how they look, what they're standing in, a picture that you have of them. I'll like remote view and see your color couch in your house. Like things that are like, it's telepathic communication. Somebody will be like, I was just thinking that. And, you know, I used to think it was all bullshit too, until I started doing it. And then I was like, Oh, it's not bullshit. It's really not. It's once I started connecting to the universal mind, which is an all encompassing spider web of cosmic connections that humanity has that I don't separate myself with religion and all of that because I believe we're all one and I believe there's truth in everything and there's lies and everything. So I don't put myself in any category. I'm connected to the source God and that's it. Yo, you and me both. We're connected to the higher source. I just give us. Yes. I give thanks to the higher source, God. And that's just amazing. Cool. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times people will be like, oh, you're working for the devil. And I'm like, no, well, the, if I was working for the devil, I would be giving like negative messages and yeah. stuff that's bad. I don't channel that. So like, you won't see me do readings and be like, 
I'm seeing a fight in the house and, and I'm seeing drama. I don't do that. I'm like, I talk about what your soul is asking of you to change within yourself so that you can move forward. I'm not telling you what to do. You're asking for the information. Your spirit guides are talking through me because we're all messengers, right? Every single one of us. I, this is why I have my school for the gifted because I want to teach everyone, you're all gifted. A lot of us think we're crazy. We go through depression, ADHD, ADHD anxiety, uh, uh, you know, all of these symptoms that, that are called these names, I always say ADHD, attuned to different dimensions, right? ADD, attuned to different dimensions. When we pick up on spiritual energy in different dimensions, because we are in smack dab in the middle of the dimensions, okay? First, second, third, we're in the third dimension. We got first and second below us, third, four, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth on top of us. And a lot of times these dimensions will peek through this little like, sort of like a wormhole and they'll come through and we can feel it. And then we're not knowing that. And so here we are thinking, I have anxiety, I'm nervous, I'm scared. My right ear is burning, which means I'm channeling heavily right now. That means information is coming in so I can give it to the um, collective. So when that happens, it's usually when spirit is telling me, okay, give them the, the most important, because I always ask before an interview, the most important information, give me that to give to them. Don't give me nothing that that's not necessary. So they start with the channeling and you know, they want you all to know that you're not sick. You're not crazy. Okay. I'm actually making a documentary on this. It's called, you're not crazy. You're gifted. Okay. And it's all about like how the big pharma tries to trick us into thinking we're sick. So we could take medications and we could depend on them when really it's a spirit. A lot of times it's a spiritual matter, not to say that other people are not suffering from mental illnesses and stuff. Cause they are, but a lot of the times, which for me, I went to many psychologists for those of you watching, cause I, I Spirit is telling me a lot of people are going to watch this that are that feel this way. You went through depression. You went through. I tried to kill myself. I almost committed suicide once. This is what happens to light work, star seeds. This earth is too dense for us, and we're light beings, and we're constantly used to being like energetic and up, up, up. And then we get here, and it's like blah, right? And so we don't know how to deal with it. And a lot of times, it turns us to depression, anxiety, misery, right? We're not happy because Earth is not our original home. So if you're not feeling welcomed here, it's because this is not your home, okay? And you as a light worker and as a star seed will be placed into very dark situations in your family because you're here to do the work that your family wasn't willing to do. So you're sort of the generational curse breaker, you know, the, the one that's going to break the cycle. You know, I dealt with family with addictions, mental illnesses. Nobody ever got help. I'm the first one who in all of their faces got help, showed them I got better. And they were like, what? There's nothing wrong with you. Cause that's how Albanian culture is. Muslim Albanian culture. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just acting crazy. Just get better already. You're crazy. They don't mean to do it. It's how they were raised. And a lot of cultures are like that, Spanish, Mexican. And it's funny because we all have this thing where we all believe in spiritual stuff and Jesus came down from the heavens and was here as a perfect being but when we talk about spiritual connection spiritual enlightenment how you can connect to source you can be a guide to others you can be a healer you can be a mentor people think you're crazy but yeah. that's the problem the problem is we're programmed to believe that what I'm doing is evil it, it's programmed for a reason because the higher sources that you see these elite people, they have all of this knowledge. They don't want you to know this knowledge because they can't control you if you know this knowledge. Okay, kings and queens didn't tell the peasants the secrets to their kingdom. Okay, they told them, whatever, just be peasants, pay your taxes, do the work, be a slave and get out of my face. And that's exactly what people like the Pope, the government, the presidents, all of that are doing to us. So you have to step outside of the, what they pro, as, here, I'm gonna say one more thing. Um, this is important and then I'll let you ask your questions. Um, um, when you're born from the age of born until the age of eight years old, children are susceptible to energy and they can see spirit. A lot of times you'll see a child look up and be like, got got to nobody. And people be like, why was my kid doing that? They were seeing either a grandmother or a spiritual energy. Some people remember like me seeing dark energy when I was young too, not just good energy, you know, and still to this day, I feel it. 
And at the age of eight years old, your mind gets reprogrammed when you're put into school and now you start learning, oh, fake history, fake science, all this bullshit that they teach you. Now they're trying to program our kids with a whole bunch of other stuff that we're like, what the fuck? You have to teach your kids from the day they're born, don't lose that psychic connection. Don't lose that spiritual connection. Don't lose your intuition. Your intuition is your gut feeling. When you are feeling something is not right and you go against that feeling and and you do it and it goes wrong, you'll realize I should have listened to myself. You're all psychics. You're all mediums. Every single one of you is a channeler. You ever gave someone advice and you just don't know how this amazing advice just came out and you're like, wow, I wish I recorded that. Or if you have like an out of body experience and you're like, I'm not even controlling my body right now. I'm like, right. who's controlling my body right now? Exactly. And these are things like astral projection, right? Um, it, I, I, like, I'm not telling anybody what to do. You have to go with your intuition, but if you do get a chance, you could check out my YouTube channel or my Instagram. I constantly put free videos out. Listen, I don't get paid for this stuff, but I do it. You know why? Cause this is my duty, my mission on earth. I was sent here for this reason, just like Ariel knows his, what he was saying here to do. He was saying here to bring joy and information, which he does constantly through his podcast. That's what I'm doing. And you have the right and the chance to do the same thing. Don't look at us and be like, no, oh, I can't do what they're doing. Yes, the fuck you can. You can. All you have to do, it's, listen, it starts with one person watching you and going, wow, I just got some great information from that. It's all about you taking your power back. You know, you can't look at celebrities and famous people and podcasters and YouTubers and be like, oh, they're so cool. I could never. Yes, you can. How do you think they started? They started with nothing. Started from the bottom. Now they're here. All you got to do is put yourself out there. I'm, I'm here to inspire people and empower people in that way. You have to take a chance. Be creative. Understand you're not sick. You're not, you don't have mental illnesses. It's something you're told. You have to get, tune into your meditation, get spiritual connection, connect yourself to God, find your own answers. Don't look to books and videos and all that. Let those guide you. Let those be your guide. But ultimately in the end, you have to find your own knowledge within you. The kingdom of heaven is within you and your third eye is within you. You are the light. So be that light to this earth and don't, don't add on to the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Be the encouragement. Be the light in this yes. place. I'm telling you, yeah. encourage others. Wow. Yes. Well, you're killing yeah. it. And I wrote that right here. Put yourself out there. Build that spiritual connection with the one. With the yes. With God. With source. With source. Yeah. And when, when, listen, I'm not here to put no religions down. I, I really don't. I, I love them all as long as they're being used for the light. But a lot of times, a lot of things, you know, that they'll, they use religion for darkness. The, you must obey your father. Like, no, no, no. Let, let me tell you something. Stop thinking God is punishing you. Get that fucking concept out of your head. God, God is not some asshole in the sky pointing his finger going, you bitch, you're going to hell. I'm going to burn you alive. Think about that for a second. Why would a loving God want to make you suffer? You choose your soul lessons before you come on this earth. You will sign a contract with you, your higher self. And when you come onto this earth, you not only a contract with your higher self, you sign it with other souls so that you can learn lessons. This is why you have bad relationships. You don't choose your family because they're, they're great and perfect. You choose them for the problems they have so you can learn and evolve. You cannot evolve if things are perfect all the time. Remember that. So you could be like, why is God punishing me? What? No, no, God's not punishing you, babe. The harder you, your lessons that you chose, it means that you really wanted to evolve in this lifetime. Like you really wanted to make a serious evolution in your spiritual ascension. You know, they say Jesus came down as a perfect being. You know why? He came multiple lifetimes over and over and did men much work, much work, went through starvation, uh, hell, all these bad things, which I have dreams about all the time. I had dreams that I was child sex trafficked in the past life. I was a slave. I was like in crates on a ship being shipped off to be enslaved. I was sold as a child at one time to people so I could perform as an entertainer, which is why I love music and I'm still connected to that. There's many lifetimes you have, okay? And you do this for a reason. You know, your soul's out there. When you have the I am consciousness thought that you can create yourself in a physical body in the ninth dimension, you say, I am. 
Oh, you realize your consciousness. Then you come to the first dimension. Oh shit, I could become a physical being. Okay, you become a physical being. But before you come, you, you decide, what do I want to do? How do I want to look? What do I want to be? Who do I want to be surrounded by? Little by little. And then your soul progresses and ascends little by little. And you start to inform yourself, oh, I got to go back to this earth place. There's a problem with like pe pedophilia. There's a problem with molestation. There's a problem with, with drug addiction. Let me, let me be the one to go through it so I can learn about it. Because as a light worker, your job is to, um, you know, uh, report back for duty, right? You have to go back to the ascended masters, the angels, all of the souls that you're connected to and be like, okay, man, I can go. When I went back to earth, I went through that drug addiction shit. I see why people can't get out of it. We can't like even hold them responsible. This shit is hard to get out of. You know what I mean? I was in it. If I didn't get out of it, I was technically really in it, really me. And, and as a lay worker, I chose that lesson. Oh, you see my ear? Look at my ear. It's burning red. You see that, right? And then this one's white. You see how white it is? This is what happens when I'm channeling. It's who information's coming in from a source. So, and I get hot and kind of like, I, I speak fast, but it's okay because this is how spirit works. They work at a very high vibration. You have to be, you know, Ariel, I could see you and you said, you know what, I'm not going to read you, but what I will tell you one thing that I was hearing, he does vibrate very fast and very high and you are connected to very high energetic frequencies. The source that you connect to is very. <laughs> so sometimes I'm just going to say one thing and I promise take a break sometimes because you can be overwhelmed with information very quickly so spirit is saying just take a break sometimes because you don't even know that you're taking on people's energy and, and a lot of times people come to you for help and you have to just kind of be like i can't right now i'm busy you know what i mean so that's just that that's what that's all i'm gonna say um, um i respect universal laws but like i was saying you are connected to many dimensions and your your purpose is when people are like what's my purpose what is my life purpose why am i here your purpose is to live, baby. There is there is no one purpose. I am not just a medium. I am a psychic. I'm a medium. I'm a singer. I'm a rapper. I'm a dancer. I'm a musician. I'm an artist. I'm a writer. You understand? There's no one purpose. It's, it's just you have all these gifts sent to you in many ways. Now, when you don't, why, why do people get depressed? When you don't use gifts that the universe has given to you, it turns into depression. Depression is the body's way of telling you, I'm not happy here. Can you do something different? I'm uncomfortable. And so if you sit around every day and you go, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But then you're like, I could write really good or I could do music really good. And you don't use that gift. You don't use that talent. See, the problem is people think like this. If I put out my music, only two or three people are gonna listen. So what? You're helping two or three people. Those are your soul tribes. Why do you care about fame? Fame is fickle and it's an illusion. Don't get it twisted. I've been there, honey. And guess what? Today I'm like, now nah, fuck fame. If I have to do something and it, it, and it involves fame, I understand now how to deal with it. But when you go after just fame, you will do anything to get famous and you will sell your soul to the you know, metaphorical devil and you will do anything to get there. Leaving you at the end of it, like all these celebrities, once they stop being famous, oh, I hate my life. I'm going to do drugs and kill myself. No, no, no. See, that's why you can't, you cannot have a goal to be famous or to be rich or to be successful. That's not the goal. The goal is to find yourself, right? So have that goal. Whatever I do, may I find myself along this journey. Whatever I experience, may I learn the lessons I need to progress my soul. The reason I've came here. Because right now you're in this physical body and it feels like it's nothing. But I promise you, you are so important. You are so big. And when you say there's something bigger than me out there, no, the something that's bigger than you out there is you. You're these higher frequencies, high beings. You are created in the image of God. So therefore, you are essentially God. God and you are together. You came down here to live out God's visions and dreams and you became a physical manifestation of God's consciousness so bring that manifestation
and use it to the fullest because God can't be a physical being. So God's like, yo, please, bitch, go skydiving for me. Please do the music. I need to see what this shit feels like because I can't feel it. All I can do is use the vibration that you send out, which is why it's so important to send out positive vibrations to the universe because when you do, the universe hears you and goes, oh, she wants to do this. Okay, Look, I'm gonna tell you guys a secret that will save you from thinking, what do I do, what I do? The universe constantly sends down ideas, throws down ideas. You know, all these scientists, philosophers, the only reason they became famous for their philosophy and sciences, they heard the information and they said it. And people were like, oh my God, he's so smart. Yeah, he's smart because he said it, but initially he got that information from the universe. Anyone receives, you ever get an idea? I think I could um, create this or I could build this but you just keep it to yourself and you find out somebody else did it. Those ideas get sent down to millions of people at once. Whoever wants to take the idea, run with it. That's on them. There, there's no right. There's no wrong. There's no good. There's no bad. There's no, it's dark, light, positive. And we are working with everything at the same time, all at the same time. Okay. Evil, um, angelic, light, good. All of it is actually working together. Even the darkness is working with the light. And, they, you know, some of them are not aware of it. Some of them are completely aware. We're going to work together to help this human evolve. When you're going through that dark stage, because there's going to be some people that are going to be like, thank you for this message, because I can feel it already. The, the message, I already feel it. When you're going through that dark phase in your life, thank those dark energies and the shadows for showing you this side. So that, because remember, they're teaching you do you want to stay here with us in the darkness? How does this feel? You like this? We're here. here. We're going to keep giving it to you. The more you, the more you accept it, the more you listen to my negative thoughts, the more I'm going to feed it to you and feed it to you and feed it to you. Do you want to stay here? And then you start to realize little by little as the angels, they don't fuck with your free will. So they slowly will be like, don't do that. Smile, laugh. Don't be stuck there. Get up, go outside. And you're not like listening because your this side is so loud. We'll say this side, that side. The darkness, the, the demonic frequencies is so loud that you just keep letting them talk in your ear and telling you how worthless you are and you can't do it. You know, that's like letting the government tell you that uh, you can't have a business because you're stupid. Who the fuck are you? Like you're running a fucking country and you're a fucking idiot. How about that? <laughs> Like the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at the people that run our country. You're sitting there like, please tell me what to do next. That person is a moron. They have no clue what they're doing. Like, I'm not, no judgment, but they don't know what the fuck they're doing. What are you looking to them for? You need to find your own way, baby, in every situation. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it's up to us to find, oh, did you see that orb? Yep, did you see yep, that? Yep, mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. I saw it. A big, just white, 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 white feather, beautiful, or it, and then there's nothing in here. I have no your dust going on. And your candle just started flickering crazy right now. That's what I'm saying. It just, so, well, flickering. it just stopped. Oh my god! So, so my candle does that when spirit is around, and the fact that that orb just went down and went there. Um, this happens a lot during my lives and stuff. And when I work with spirit, one of the things I tell them all the time is, hey, guys, you know, people kind of need like proof because it's hard for them to believe all this stuff. And I know it's like you have to believe to see and all that. But maybe let's give them like a little here. And, a little. and it's funny. Look at that. It looks like a, a, a halo around my head. No, look at that. Shadow. Doesn't that look like a halo? <laughs> so it's even it could be the lighting. It could be the lighting. But hey, I still got a halo over my head. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? So we, you need to understand a spirit will work with you. Yep. There's things um, there's things like angel numbers. If you look at angel numbers, you'll see like two to two, one, 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 two, three. And you're always like, why do I see these numbers? Those are your guides. They're guiding you little by little here here and they're feeding you go this way make a left go right you know that feeling you get that's your angels talking to you yeah oh there's just little signs here and there that you, you're like okay i'm on the right path i am doing right. exactly what i need to be doing right now right exactly. and i get that and i get that feeling like when you something will just pop off my head i'm like okay yeah i'm doing i'm doing i'm that's just a sign right there yeah, and you know, and you're not listen, you're you're like, never really yeah, like that feather we just saw. That was just right. 
Right. And, and I could tell you, there's no dust in my room. Literally like I clean every day. I'm a Virgo and I'm psychotic. So I don't have animal. Oh, I'm getting vibrations in the crown chakra right now. Like, so this will happen to me a lot. Like, Oh, when I'm talking, it's like buzzing in my head or my third eye. It'll be like, Oh my God, my whole head is buzzing. Uh, so this happens when spirit is, oh, they're telling me to talk about that, to let people know. Sometimes we'll like give you a little heat on the eye or in the, in the head so that you can understand that right now they're with you. And I want to say this, you're never really on the wrong path. I want you to not put pressure on yourself. This is very important for you to know because a lot of us are putting so much amount of pressure on ourselves. I got to get my bills paid. I got to go to college. I got to have a baby. I got to have a white picket fence. I got to do it by this age. I got to, got to, got to. You don't got to, got to do nothing. You can do everything on your own damn time. You Remember, once you let go of the concept of how everyone else is living and you think that that's the right thing, once you find your own path, look at me. I'm 39 years old. I'm single. I have a daughter. I'm not thinking about marriage, but if it happens, it happens. And people say to me all the time, why aren't you married? Oh my God. And I'm like, um, because when the time is right, it will happen for me. I've already been married before and it, I rushed into it. I did it because everyone wanted me to do it. And it did not work out. And today I go by my own standards, my own views, and nobody can tell me this is right or that's wrong. You can't because you're what's right for you is wrong for me. What's wrong for me is right for you. How could you tell me what to do? Are you insane? Thou shalt not judge is there for a reason. Judgment is not even God doesn't judge you, baby. I hate to tell you for those of you like only God can judge me. Stop getting those tattoos because no, God can't judge you and God won't. That word doesn't even exist in his vocabulary. You judge yourself. You know when they say like, can God forgive me for the things I did? You know what they say, right? In order to be forgiven, you must first do what? Forgive yourself. What do you think that means? You must forgive yourself before you can be forgiven, which means ultimately God's like, I already forgave you. You got to forgive yourself. I'm not judging you. You got to stop judging yourself. This is up to you, sweetheart. What do you want me to... Uh, you really think God is sitting up there somewhere just laughing, going, I'm just going to laugh at this. Now, when we got, I'm not, again, not judging. When we got religions and the shit you hear in Bibles and remember that, please remember this. The great Constantine, the emperor of Rome, one time a Pope went up to him with the original text of the Bible, which had secrets to the universe in it, the key to success and, and enlightenment and ascension. And the Pope went up to Constantine and he was the ruler at that time. And he said to him, I have this book, look, read it. Constantine as the emperor read that book and said to him, we can't put this out there. He goes, why? He goes, if we put this out there, they're all going to be doing what we're doing. They're going to be ruling the way we are. We have to change this. And he changed it. The Bible, the original Bible text. Go read the Gnostic, the book of Thomas, the, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Look at the book of the way, the, um, the Lao Tao, Lao Tao De Ching. Read um, some ancient Samadhi. Read things from ancient Samaria, the book of Thas, Isis, Osiris. Um, all of these enlightened beings that said, I got to teach humanity about the fucking lies that they've been telling us. And they got a lot of them killed for it. You know, people that get, you know, that's what they did to Jesus. Jesus came in and said, hey, hello, uh, the kingdom of heaven is with this, within you. You're all God. <laughs> Don't worship me because you're all the same as me. We all can ascend. And we have, he taught about chakras, yoga, meditation, fasting. And people were like, encouragement. Yeah. No, the fuck he's not. Why do you think Jewish people kill him? The Torah don't believe. The Torah is like, thou shalt worship me and I am your God and all. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't go by that concept because I don't believe my God wants me to be a slave, not even to God. You know, so it's up to you. Like you, listen, I'm not telling people, leave your religion. Fuck, I love God. Like you, you don't hear me. I keep talking about God, but not the kind of God you're taught about. I'm with source, the creator of everything the void, the nothing, the everything, the I am, the I am not, the, uh, the, 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 the strength and the weakness, the light and the dark, the ups and the down, you know, okay. it, one with everything. Yes. So, one yeah. with the creator, one with God, one with positivity, one with high frequency. We are, we are low frequency over here. We high frequency over here. That's right. That's why you have to tap into your um, frequency and your vibrations really. And if you don't know how, how, how do I do that? 
binaural beats work, okay? So like 545 um, frequency hertz. That's why a lot of the music gets a lot of teenagers depressed. It's at a 424 um, uh, frequency hertz. And it's like, I want you girl, but you don't want me. And I'm just so lonely. I'm popping zannies and I'm drinking lean and I hate my life. So you're becoming more depressed about that. So you want to be happy? Listen to happy shit. Stop listening to these depressed motherfuckers that can't find their way. You want Xanax, you want lean, you want a fucking girl who loves you. Get your shit together, bro. And maybe that will happen. Like we ain't got time to feel bad. All we can do is send out messages of positivity and vibrations of frequency of light and love. 525 megahertz or higher, okay? Use singing bowls, okay? Things like singing bowls and, and sage and and you know, crystals, if you will, things like sage and singing bowls and, and something like this, the tuning fork, I'll show you. Nice. See how nice that feels? If you do this to a dog, they'll be like, <laughs> you know how you know babies and animals respond to this? My nephew, when he cries, I do that. And he's like, <sighs> he falls asleep. Babies and animals know everything. You know why? Because they ride on vibrations and frequency. Yeah, they're, they're, like the, they're like the most... Tuned in. Pure, You're yeah. the most tuned in. Right. And you know, the, I always this, if you want to know if somebody's good for you and you can't read your own intuition, bring a dog or a baby around this person. If that dog or baby gets real uncomfortable around, around this human being that you just met or you want to be with or whatever, then you'll know. Don't don't go against that shit. Because dogs react to people uh, scared or fearful or, oh my God, I love you. You know, you'll see it. And babies too. Same thing with babies. Okay. Understood. Understood. Yeah. I got all these notes I'm taking down right here. This is serious stuff right now. This is what I'm saying. What? What? It's all of yo, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this right now, real quick. Okay. It's all about the work you do. Nah, you know, I didn't get clean off drugs, and I didn't get healthy in relationships, and start treating myself right, and loving myself and my family, and respecting everybody. Even if they weren't perfect, I had to forgive every single person for the wrong that was done to me. And I had to forgive myself for allowing myself to become dragged down by that energy. And I had to take my power back. And it took me years and years to jump out of a cycle that was repetitive in my family, bad relationships, drugs, alcohol, sex, uh, uh, anger, frustration, misery all of that stuff and i had to break out of it and it's funny because when i broke out of it it seems like everyone calmed down around me why why but if you're the light worker and you come here to do the light work and you work on yourself i promise you i could bet money on it everyone around you is going to fall in line with you you create your own heaven in your own circle it's up to you do you want to work on it you know why so many people don't seek enlightenment they don't seek self-work they don't want to work on themselves. It's hard work. It's hard work. What's easier? Drink, smoke weed, go party, fuck this, fuck that, fuck that bitch. Go in bad relationships, keep repeating cycles. And then later on in life, go, why the fuck is this happening to me? Because you're not doing the work. It's all about the work. That's why I have my classes like I do. Because people, and yo, I'm telling you, I got thugs in my classroom. Straight up bloods and crypts. And they and bitch talking to each other and crying and expressing their emotions and you would be surprised at how bad people want to heal. And they'll be like, thugs, thugs, that chill in the corner and trap all day, hitting me up, talking about flow. Um, let me ask you a question. Can you send me some meditation videos or can you send me some homework for tonight so I can have something to do? And I do. And then they'll write me back. I finished the homework. They just need guidance. Nobody's bad. Who's bad? You think that demon really wants to be a demon or you think they just got stuck there? Either they were created that way to do the work that they're supposed to do in the darkness or they just got stuck there. That's what ghosts and residual spiritual energy is. They're just stuck. So you have to be like, hello, <laughs> you're stuck here. This is not the place you want to be. Maybe open up a portal with your finger and say, I send you an exit, um, exit portal to the light. Hmm. Step out of this portal, okay? You're in the wrong place. You're here. You don't belong here. Go to the light, okay? If you feel dark energy, I'm going to finish it with this. If you feel dark energy in your home and you don't feel comfortable in your space and your room and all that, stand up. Say hello. I'm very well aware that there's spiritual energy in here. Maybe you're not aware that you're in here, but I'm asking you to please go to the light and step out. 
Archangel Michael, can you assist me with removing this energy? Lovingly to the light. You want to do things with love. You don't want to be like, fuck you, motherfucker. But if there is energy that's not listening, you have to be like, hi, hi. I asked you numerous times to step out of my space and you're not doing it. So either do it yourself or I'm going to call in the angel squad and they're going to take you out. So which would you, would you like to do this the easy way or get ejected like a fucking vacuum and a suction? I don't want to really like traumatize you. So what are we doing here? You got to set boundaries with people and with energies. You have to, because people will suck you dry like energy vampires. Set those fucking boundaries. Got okay? okay. Set those boundaries as well. Yes. You got to set the heaven around you. Make right. the and, around you. That's, yeah. I love that because that's why I like to like surround myself with positive people every day. People that are just high frequency all day. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm Max, you have to. Oh Low vibrational energies. If you're on a high vibrational energy, you know what they do? If they're not working with you to step up to the high vibration, they just suck your energy dry. Oh. It's called energy vampires, literally. Be careful who you have sex with, right? Because sexual energy is all the way real. You can have sex with someone, intimacy, and especially if it's done under like, a low vibrational um, scenario, you will carry this person's energy with you and you have to cut the cord. It's it's all energy. Everything's energy. So it's like, imagine that like you're walking and then just energy gets stuck on you and trapped. And like, if you're having sex, that's the most intimate exchange of everything. Fluids, energy, love, hate, whatever it is, you know, violence, whatever you guys are doing. Just remember, you want to be there was a point in my life where I was not cautious about who I was having sex with. That was wild. You know, I was having my fun, but if I would have known then what I know now, I would have never, cause I will tell you a situation that happened to me, which I think will help a lot of you is a guy. One time I was sleeping with, he, it was dark. It was a little dark in the room and he was on top of me and his eyes turned black and he started growling. He sounded like a demon and he put his hand over my neck. I, I, got so scared. I thought I was going to die. I was like, I'm, I'm dead. He's going to murder me. And so, the strength came over me where I pushed him off so hard and turned the light on. Do you know, he stood there and said, what are you doing? What happened? He had no clue. He did that. So he got essentially uh, energy went right into his body. Cause some people are very weak spiritual aura and something could just go into them. That's why you have to get your aura strong. And I'm not saying you get possessed by demons, but you do essentially you can, you know, this spiritual energy is like, I want to fuck her too. I'm going in. You know what I'm saying? I get violent or crazy. So protect your energy at all costs. Because I know a lot of young people are going to tune into this. Be cautious and aware of who you sleep with. You know, if you want to have sex, do it under the best circumstances ever. Let's be adults. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's walk out of here, both of us smiling. No hate, no feelings or feelings. Are we going to be in love or are we just having great sex? What are we doing? Let's just make the contract now so there's no hard feelings or resentments later. That's very important for you guys, you know? So yeah, so I want to say that. And if you guys are older than like 19, 20, and you want to book a reading with me, you can. The only reason I don't do like 19, 18, you're still young. You're, you're, you know, you're enjoying life. You're out here learning lessons. But if you feel like you're like a, one of those 19 year olds, like, no, my soul is overgrown. I need to know what I need to do so I can ascend quicker then it's a different story if you're ready to do the work. If you're just like, I want a reading just for fun. I'm not here for your entertainment. I am a serious healer. <laughs> I don't charge for spell. I don't do spells. I don't do curses. I don't do none of that. Don't even ask. What I do is cleanse energy, light work, meditation videos to cleanse. And if you play my shit in your house because I'm a light worker, the, my sound alone will clear whatever energies are going on. I connect to loved ones, ascended masters, ascended beings, beings that are working on, on themselves or have ascended, okay? So I just want to put that out there really quick. And Ariel, thank you so much for having me on the podcast. It was wonderful. Yeah. And absolutely. Yeah. I keep I, going, I, man. Keep going, dude. I'm supporting you all the way. That truly means the world to me. And I've been writing notes here and it says, uh, you're a serious master healer. We always got, when we do the music, 525 hertz at least. Um, try yeah. to look through the book of Thomas, um, set boundaries for on mm -hmm. your positives on your energy side and with people. That yes, yes. Um, if anybody wants to know a lot more um, information, you have uh, G A I A Gaia. It's on YouTube and it's free, but you could also do the. Um, I subscribe to the thing, but it's G A I A 
Gaia on YouTube, they put a lot of information out in there. And that's really great for you because it tells you about energy, light working, how to ascend, how to work, how to heal your own bones. Because I've healed myself of blood disorders, bones, broken, like like fractured bones. And it's supposed to be six months healing. I did that shit in like two months. I was walking on that shit. People like, how? I healed myself. Little by little, I thought. This is my bone. And I would look at a fractured bone online and I would look at it and I would imagine that bone being closed up. Imagine it, you know, like I'm doing surgery myself, like, and it would heal much faster. I had really bad low iron and um, a blood disorder that made me cause me to be like tired a lot. And it had to do with iron deficiency, but it was more than that. I forgot what they call it. It's like a big word. And um, I slowly in like a month healed myself. I went back to the doctor. He was like, what the fuck? How? And I'm like, I, I meditated it. He started laughing. And I was like, see, that's the problem with you motherfuckers. You fucking think it's got to be all medicine. And I sat home. I didn't take the medicine you gave me. How about that? Yeah. I sat at home every day and meditated. Imagine my blood getting thicker and stronger and better. And I, I envisioned my veins and they were pumping through and I was healing them. And it was all this loving energy passing through my body and healing me. And people think that's corny, but guess what? It works, motherfucker. It works. Having that positive mental attitude. Oh, forget about it. Forget it will change your fucking life. It will save your life. It will save your life. Okay. Yeah, you will save your life. That's the, that's the big picture to it. It will save your life. Boom. Yes, exactly. All right, babe. Um, I have an actual another interview after this. Um, um, so I'm grateful that I was on this. And for all of you guys out there, please, you know, keep supporting Ariel. And also, if you guys want to support me, you can always go into my YouTube channel, my Instagram, follow me there. You know, I put out a lot of free information. So you'll get a lot of really great tools and the videos that I do. They will teach you a lot about yourself. And I love you guys. There you go, guys. That's well, thank you so much. When you jump off, I'm going to let everybody know where they can follow you, your Instagram, thank you. YouTube. And then, um, yeah, and, and I just want to say thank you so much. I'm going to drop this probably like in two to three weeks. Okay, thank you so much. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, if you have a promo flyer, let me know. I'll post it, okay? Absolutely. Much love. I love you. Friday. Thank you so much. Much love. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah. Wow. I told you. Man. Woo! I didn't even stretch out for that one. My goodness gracious. We are the angel squad. We're having a beautiful day. Yo, shout out to Flo. She's a writer. She's a musician. She's a serious master healer, energy coach, eight to 10 years in the television game, in the TV business game. Guys, that's all I got. Go to her YouTube. I'm going to do it right now. Hit the subscribe button. Boom. 6.81K subscribers. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow is the YouTube channel. Go with the flow. My goodness, guys. Much love, everybody. I told you guys to buckle up for this one. Her Instagram. Let's bring up her Instagram here. We do it live. We do it live. There it is. The real Florina. The real Florina. The real Florina. Okay, you're not crazy. You are gifted. Much love. Gosh, we killed it today. Yo, Flo, we killed it today. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. All the listeners all around the world, the millions and millions of listeners tuning in right now, watching right now, having a great time right now. What a joyful, joyful weekend. Have a joyful weekend. Love yourself. Love the animals. I'm going to tell the DJ to get that track ready because that's what we do. Um, Yo, Flo, that means a lot. Thank you so much for all you do for us and for the community. And just, just you know, how we do. We saw that feather at the same time. So, you know, that means a lot. We saw that feather at the same time. All right. God bless. Much love, world. The donation links are down below. ArielENT.com. All right. ArielENT.com. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Okay. And um, the merch donation links are down below. Five star review on Apple and Spotify. Five star review on Apple and Spotify.